Mr. Meril, welcome to Greece. Good morning. Good morning. I'm delighted to be here in Greece, beautiful in Thessaloniki. Beautiful sunshine all around, bright and smiling people. Okay, thank you. First of all, I would like to tell us uh, which is your uh, impression of the Congress so far? I'm very impressed because here is a gathering of world decision makers on food and beverage lines. A lot of countries around the world in the food and beverage industry are poor farmers and they sell their crop for a very small figure which makes rich countries richer while the farmers get poorer and poorer. So these gentlemen, world chefs, can change the world. If they say that we are going to give the poor world, the farmers, support and encouragement to market their own produce, then the poor countries will become slowly, slowly comfortable. They will never get rich being producers. They will become happier and their families will look to a better future. That is the philosophy of my Dilmati. My success stopped at my heart, didn't go to my head. Therefore, I am doing everything that my heart tells me. So we, are, we have set an example of how a farmer, in the case of tea, can take his crop, the finest crop, fresh, direct to the market, and retain in the country all the profits that are now taken away from us. That will change the world. And if that is done in all the countries, there will be no poverty in this world in five years time, not 50 years, in five years time. And then all the revolutions, all the crime, all the refugee problems will cease because poverty has departed. And fair and equal distribution of efforts and returns for farmers as well as traders. Uh, I would like to tell us the influence that tea has in, uh, in our life. Oh, tea is the most noble, healthy beverage. The princess and emperors in China started this habit of drinking tea and I always say drink pure tea. No sugar, no milk. If you drink four cups of good fresh tea and to give you the variety that you are not drinking the same tea every day, Dilma has about 350 types of tea. You can enjoy every tea and if you drink tea, you will be healthy, strong and wise. All the illnesses will disappear. And this is true, but unfortunately, tea is now being adulterated in various forms. But if you drink pure tea, it can be the greatest healer. No health problems. I am 86 years of age, and you see I have no God has protected me, and tea has kept me going. Uh, we, in your talk, we had about tea gastronomy. Yes. Tell us about it. Tea gastronomy is my son's expert. Now, for example, Ceylon became firm, famous for its tea served in a cup. Tilma tea is now taking our tea in a platter. You can eat tea. You can get a seven-course meal, all tea-based dishes, from the starter to the dessert. And that is a gastronomy we introduced that Every, every kind of dishes, as, as Peter Kuruvita explained. There are so many types of teas bringing tea to a new world. Dilma is bringing tea in different forms, all healthy, and paying a lot of attention to the health, and above all, marketing at very fair prices for the quality. Therefore, all of us can be healthy if we drink, some tea, four or five cups every day. And tea is 
a very cheap, relatively cheap ring. So that oh, tea has been provided to this, it's a natural drink. It's the most natural beverage and the healthy beverage in the world. Uh, which is the, influ the impact of your company at, the, at an international level? Which is the? The impact. Impact, oh. It is now. Dilma is regarded as the highest quality, most re renowned quality of tea. And presentations for everything, eating and drinking, which is unique. And it's respected for the philosophy behind the brand. Our profits don't go into my pockets. Some do. Others, we are helping the world to be made a better place. We are hel helping the poor, disabled, sick children. I have the Meryl J. Fernando Charitable Foundation, which is doing enormous work with our profits. And the profits come from every one of you. Because when you drink a cup of Dilma tea, the profits go right back to Sri Lanka and the people benefit from it and God blesses Dilma family for what we do. Something last. Uh, did you taste good tea in our town here in Thessaloniki? I came late last night and I have not had the time to taste tea but Dilma is available in certain shops and hotels here and if that you drink Dilma you can't drink anything better. And now that you know the story, and you will tell your, your listeners and viewers what is Dilma about is not only a drink, it is a philosophy of caring for consumers and sharing with the poor. A philosophy that will change the world. Thank you very much, Mr. Dilma. Thank you for the opportunity.